<laughs> you guys sorry for the jump scare i can see my face is really white but yeah i use the sunscreen that leaves a white cast but i like it because it's matte and anytime i do it anytime i use it under my makeup my makeup tends to last a little longer because i have oily skin so i also have this mac studio fix primer all over my face and then i have this benefit the professional primer on my nose you guys the weather is a little bit gloomy that's why everywhere looks kind of gray i've tried to balance out the color with lights but still everything looks great anyway um i would have powdered my face before my um foundation but i'm just like you know what let me just leave that one i already i feel like i have too many things on my face already i don't want it to get kicky so yeah time to put my foundation the foundation i use is this nars natural radiant longwear foundation this is my best foundation it's not like i've tried too many but of all the ones i've tried i bought this bun this way i don't like it i, I just feel like anytime i use it my face looks very oily but this nars natural natural radiant i love it so my color is manau okay or manaus but i feel like it's manau m-a-n-a-u-s just in case somebody you know feels like they're my shade you know you can you can try it, but just know that what you see on screen is not might not be exactly what I look like in person. I mean my my foundation, my I mean my skin color, my skin shade, whatever, might not be what you guys see in on the camera. Okay. Um so I'm just going to spray my brush a bit with this Mac Studio Fix. See how my brush looks so nice. You guys, let me tell you what I used to wash my brushes. It might sound strange, it might sound maybe not that sensible <laughs> but i use persil to wash my brushes okay persil soap that is detergent for washing clothes that's what i use to wash my brushes and that's what takes away all the makeup from my brushes i've tried using dish soap i've tried cleaning the brush first with uh, micellar water and then you know washing it with whatever the one that has worked for me the best like the way the thing the way that thing just kills grease i feel like it might not be good for the bristles long term i feel like it might actually dry out the bristles or whatever but i don't care okay if it spoils it i can buy new one like i cannot it's not like i'm going to use the brushes forever but as long as i'm using it i will keep using that pressure because once you just dip no matter how dirty the brushes are like i mean with um, products right no matter how they are if you put it inside that pressure it just melts away all the grease and all the foundation and everything all the products it melts it away so that's why this 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 brush i use it a lot and see how clean it is so anyway um, i'm just going to spray it with this max fix it spray so that it will not be dry i just don't like when it's dry somebody commented in one of my videos i think my last video that ah is it her eyes i don't even understand this foundation shade sometimes it used to look off but when i finish blending it it will work but sometimes it feels like it's too yellow for my skin or my skin is getting duller i don't know yeah, somebody commented on my on one of my videos about how my skin is not skinning again. I busy her eyes, you know. She was just like, ah, you know, your skin is not skinning again. My dear, my skin is not skinning again. No, my skin was skinning. Jesus name, amen. But for now, my skin has been going through a lot in this UK. Like, like I'm just I'm just tired to be honest. I've complained about this thing before, but at this point, I am actually just tired because my skin looks very dull very dry i have a lot of spots everywhere even on my body mind you i used to be spotless okay i used to be stainless <laughs> i used to be spotless especially for my body my face yeah may, maybe not because i used to have like acne and stuff okay i even have acne scarring right but my body used to be like stainless only for me to come to this UK now, I'm now seeing spots everywhere. I'm now seeing things that I don't even understand. My skin is now very, very dry. Um, yeah. People are saying it's the water. I think it's the water, but I think it's a combination of the water and the weather. Okay, I don't know. I know that my skin thrives better in cold weather. So I don't know whether the summer made it worse or so. I don't know. Let me stop guessing. I don't know. Um, speaking of acne scarring, let me tell you guys something that happened to me one time. I hope this will not be an, a big issue, but I just want to talk about this thing right so there was a time that i saw a content creator she posted something about you know dealing with acne you guys know we have a lot of content creators that deal with acne actually and they talk about it openly which is quite fantastic because 
gone are the days where people will get skip either their treatment or how they feel or whatever. Like now, nah, people just put everything out of the open. Like, I mean, you can see it, or even if you don't see it, you know, they're not trying too hard to conceal all these things, right? So, I like the way this my foundation doesn't look like foundation. Like, I put so little that my skin is still coming through. Maybe I should be doing this so. <laughs> if I yeah, it's not, it's not about to happen. You guys, the way I don't like makeup again, eh? Like, I know that age has something to do with it, right? But it has become worse. Like, sometimes I don't film videos because I overthink it. Like, when I think of going to, to do my makeup, I'm like, ah, do, I, do, I, do I really do I really want to do this? But anyway, so so this um content creator put out a video about you know dealing with acne, what you know, just basically you know how those videos go, right? I'm talking about people that are always telling her things like, oh, where well, is makeup that is causing it? Is this one that is causing it? And that she barely does makeup, you know. People, you know, you know how you know how those things go now. Once you see a content creator dealing with um um acne and then that content creator also wears makeup, they just assume that it's the makeup that is causing it. I'm like, do you think you like that person's face more than they like their face? Like, do you think that if makeup was really the problem, they will not stop wearing makeup? Like, who would choose wearing makeup over over clear skin? Do you get, well, maybe younger people, but older people, nobody would choose makeup over clear skin. So yeah, when I watched that video, I could so relate to that, you know, thought process. I was like, why is that, I, I, I always used to say it, why do people just feel like you like the person's face when they like their face, you know? So, I now went to make a comment to mistake number one. One of the biggest mistakes I've made in a while. I went to make a comment on all the videos. I even first said, because I, I was curious about something and I'll get to that, right? So I even first said that, uh, ah, like me personally, I don't, that's one thing about me. Anything, I, if I want to advise somebody or if I want to put out any, you know, you should do this, you should not do that, it's on my channel I do it. It's on my channel. Like, I won't go to someone's comment section and say, why don't you go and do this one? Like, never. You will never see a comment like that from me, right? If I feel like putting out any information, whether I want to be helpful or not, I will go to my page and go and say it there, right? I'll come to my YouTube channel and come and say it there because, you know, nobody can beat me. So, it's not like they will beat me on, on other platforms, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. The most you see me, the most place you see me comment is on all these Insta blog, all these blogs because even if it is about a person, it's not that, it's not me directly interacting with that person. Like, I won't go to maybe a Vicky James page now and say, Ah, Vicky James, pepe them, that kind of thing. Like, mm -mm. instead, I'll go to if they post her on Insta blog, I'll go there and say, pepe them, <laughs> finish them, you know, that kind of thing, right? And I went to the person's comment section and I said, I don't even know why I did that because that's like not me normally, but anyway, uh, nothing spoiled. And I said, me personally, I don't like to advise people on the internet because to me, it feels like sometimes in that your advice, you almost assume that you know better. Like, you assume that that person does not have sense. You, you are, it's like me going to someone's page, you now someone complaining about weight loss, and now go to the person's page and say, have you tried reducing what you eat? Have you tried? <laughs> that is sounds so stupid to me. Somebody's complaining about, oh, weight loss, or telling about their weight loss journey, or talking about dealing with their weight, you now go to the person's page and say, try skipping breakfast and exercising every two days. Eh, uh eh. -uh. Even a child that was born yesterday would know that simple thing, right? So, me personally, that's why I, I don't leave such comments on people's videos. Even though, I just assume that the person should know the basics. You know, that's how I am. So, I made that comment that me personally, I don't even like asking people because it's like, there's an assumption that, you know, you know better or you like the person better than they like themselves. But at me, I'm just curious. So, and the reason why I was curious is because me, myself, I've been dealing with acne in recent times, like more than usual, right? So I was not like, I'm just curious, so like, have you ever tried elimination diet? I first said, I've ever tried keto diet, but more like elimination diet, right? Because for me, elimination diets, or let me just explain the two. The two. Elimination diet basically is when you strip your diet to the barest minimum. Maybe you remove everything and start from meat, right? That's what most, most people do. They start from eating just meat, and then they start introducing things one by one, one by one, until they now figure out what is triggering their problem, right? So that's elimination diets. And people use it most times for um, allergies, um, auto autoimmune diseases, inflammations and stuff like that. That's what people do to be able to pinpoint what exactly they are eating that is causing the problem, right? So 
Um, but keto diet is a variation of that, okay, somehow, because keto diet basically is just protein and, you know, cutting out carbs to the barest minimum or processed food and stuff like that, right? So I was like, oh, have you tried the keto diet or, or elimination diet, you know, because me, I know that it's not sustainable, right? For me, yo, I've tried keto diet several times and it has never been sustainable for me. In fact, by week two, I've started adding back things I'm supposed to add. Like, that's how bad it has been for me. It's either I go too overboard and I can't... Because me, the way we do it in Nigeria, all these they are keto swallow, keto... I don't... I can't try that rubbish. All those cabbage swallow. I'd rather not eat swallow. I'd rather just eat the soup like that, right? So, it always gets overwhelming and I always fall off and I always go back to status quo, right? So, me, I was now curious to know whether she has tried it and whether it worked for you know, acne, just maybe, maybe if she had tried it, it works, but it's not sustainable, that kind of thing, right? So I was like, I just want, I'm just curious to know if you've tried it before. I was just basically asking, you know how, almost like you want to have partner, like, <laughs> let's not be only me that has gone through this, like, have you tried it before? Did it work for you? Or, you know, just basically that kind of question. To be honest, I can't remember how I phrased that thing, but that was basically what I was insinuating. It was not to shame. I don't even know if there's any way it can be shaming anybody. But it was not, it was not to shame anybody. It was not to even advise anybody. I wasn't saying, oh, go and try the keto diet. I wasn't saying that. I even... After what happened later on, I'll get back to what happened later on, Sha. I even went back to that, my comment again, because I was like, I need to be sure that I did not go there and start suggesting that she should try keto diet. I was only asking, have you tried it before? Did it work for you? That kind of thing, because a lot of times when I have seen people talk about the keto diet, people that have done it for, for a long time, they always talk about, oh, how their skin became clearer, how this, how that, how they were dealing with, you know, chronic acne, hormonal acne and stuff like that hormonal imbalance and it worked. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just talking and smudg smudging this thing everywhere. Anyway, and it worked for them. But the truth is that most people that I see saying those things are not even Nigerians. There are all these Oibo people that I'm like, I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> you people, the way you people's uh, taste buds work, it would be easier for people to do keto than, than the rest of us, right? So I was like, let me just ask you. Hmm. You guys, that was how I asked the question and I just left. I forgot about it. I don't know, you know this kind of thing. Like, you just make the comment and you move on. I forgot about this thing. No? Only for a few, let me not say days. That thing is more than days. Maybe like one or two weeks later. This content creator put out a video talking about how she made a video about acne and another content creator that she knows came and was telling her that she should go and try the keto diet <laughs> because when i was watching this thing i was like huh she now said that it, she was really like whether she she got angry initially or she got hurt or something like that initially or she got like defensive initially because the person who made that comment she knows the person and the person is not particularly slim or well, how did she put it the person is not slim or something like that like why is that she was now asking herself why are you suggesting i go and do the keto diet when you need it more than me <laughs> right <laughs> i don't even know why i'm saying this thing. i'm just saying it just so that people will know how you know misunderstandings can arise even though when i watched that video i don't know why i just felt like it was more than misunderstanding it was more like like, how dare you comment on on this my issue when you are fat? <laughs> That's how I saw it, Sha. And I be wrong, but I saw it as how dare you come and talk about my keto when you are you are fat? I might be wrong, like I said, but that is how it came across. It came across like, let me use style. <laughs> let me use style and form. You know, we're just talking. Let me use style and form. We're just talking and then attack this person attack this person for their weight because how dare they i don't know the, i don't know the kind of makeup i'm doing because how dare she come and comment about my acne when you know you are fat you know and when i saw that video i was i think i would say the word that i, I would best describe was i was confused and then after i because I, I, I was first confused because i was like let me go back to that video, that her own first video, and go and check the comment section and be sure that I did not actually suggest that she should go and do the keto diet. I was only asking if she had done it before. You know, uh, me, 
at that point, I was dealing with, even till now, it's just that I have full foundation. If you guys see my face, my face is full of spots. In fact, my eye, me, eyelid, imagine having pimples on your eyelid. I've never had pimples on my eyelid before. I've had above my brow, but I mean like on my eye, you guys might not see it, but here, there's, there was one, there's one pimple that refused to go. Look at this one on my face, right? These are the ones that, now it's even clearing now. This one is just, I think it's hormonal because I, uh, my period is around the corner, right? But yeah, I was having lots of acne on my face and at that point I was like, should I just go and do keto diet because of pimples? When I know it's not sustainable, you know? So I was basically, just, you know when you're just looking for a partner, someone that will help you confirm that it doesn't work, so don't stress yourself. My dear, now so I take enter trouble. And the person talked about my weight. Uh, okay, yeah. So when I went back to that comment, and I now checked and I was sure that I wasn't suggesting that she should go and you know do the keto diet or that whatever, right? That's number one. Number two, diets is not only for losing weight. I think I need Nigerians to get it into their skull. Because any small thing that has to do with weight, Nigerians will always talk about diet, right? Dieting is not only for weight loss. You can actually use your food to cure certain things, right? In fact, you should use your food, your food to cure certain things before you start going for, um, you know, medicine, like orthodox, orthodox medicine, what they call it, like regular, you know, medicine, medication, whatever. You can actually diet to solve, like I said before, things like autoimmune diseases, um, if you have particular, what they call it, like um, nutrient deficiency, right? If you're nutrient de deficient in some certain things, even if even when you are slim, it's not about reducing weight. Even when you are slim, you can be put on certain diets to help correct certain things. Hormonal imbalance, you can be put on certain diets to correct your, correct your hormonal imbalance, PCOS, things like that. Even if you are a stick figure, it doesn't, like, diets in itself is not supposed to restrict your calories, okay? Like, except you're dieting to lose weight. If you're dieting for other reasons, it's not about restricting your, 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 your calorie intake. So, for instance, you might be dieting to, let's say now you're dieting to cure something like PCOS or hormonal imbalance. It doesn't mean that, especially if you're not, you know, overweight, it doesn't mean that you should reduce your calories. It just means that you should cut out certain things from your meal and eat other things more. Okay, so let's say you want to get like 2,000 calories a day, you can cut out bread, you can cut out wheat, you can cut out carbs, but you can eat more protein, more veggies, more fruits, even though fruits have sugar, more fruits that will still equal 2,000 calories, okay? So everything is not about weight loss. So that was why I was confused because even the context of the conversation was not about weight loss. So how do I need this more than you in that sense? Like... Even if I need this more, like that's what we're talking about, because <laughs> I actually do need it more. <laughs> Even if I need it more, that's not what, what I'm talking about, you know. So that comment really made me say, ah, now wow, what not to do? But it made me feel somehow, it made me just understand that seeing this, my stance of not commenting on people's videos is actually a very, very good one. Like, it's a very good one because. You can just stay now, nah, insult to come and meet you because you decided to comment on her one video. Or me, I was commenting because I was looking for, you know, you know how, anyway, you guys get this thing. I'm sure you people get it. There's no need explaining too much. But I was really like dumbfounded by that situation. Then after I was confused, I was now disappointed. I was like, nah, fam, like, and <laughs> what's funny is that the way the thing was now phrased, it was almost like, you know, Almost like trying to turn yourself into a victim and then act like you're the bigger person. Meanwhile, it's just a case of nothing burger. Okay? It, just, it was just a nothing burger. Like, it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that serious. You know? So, sometimes, it now makes me ask myself, how are we as women supposed to, you know, come together and help each other if the first, your first instincts you know, to receiving a comment like that is to go and body shame the other person. Do you get my point? Like, even if I was even coming to say you should can't, even although I wasn't, like, I was not trying to suggest that she should do it. Like, when I want to advise people to go and do keto diet, I do it on my channel. I don't go to anybody's page. I've talked about keto diets a lot for, for fertility. On my channel, I've seen people that battle in fertility in real life or even um, on Instagram. I would never go there and tell them, go and try the keto diet. Like, for what? 
Why would I do that? You know, like, why? It doesn't even make sense. It's not my MO at all. You know, so I was like, if your first instinct is to fight back or attack back, because I wasn't even attacking, but you know, where if you thought you were even being attacked, if your first in instinct is to attack back and try to frame it like you're being a bigger person or you're being a, a you know, you are being the victim, then what are we doing? You know, what are we really doing here? So yeah, that's it. I was actually confused by that and I was actually um, disappointed. But at the same time, I was like, well, now you carry yourself, go to the comment for person video now. Like, if you are that bored, you can take a book. <laughs> take a book and read. Go and jog on the treadmill. Go and lose the weight that isn't to shame you. Instead of, you know, f uh, feeling bad, like, you must still comment. So yeah, that was one lesson I learned. Uh, was it not this year? Was this year now? Earlier this year that I was like, hey, hey, forget what you're seeing on social media. Hmm. It now made me question some things, sir. But you know, we move. Anyway, um. So you guys, the powder I've been using since is this Sacha buttercup powder. I bought it a long time ago, and I've still been using it. And I know there are other better powders out there, but. You know, it is what it is. I'm still using it. This is the Made by Mitchell Cove case. This is like a concealer or a blush. It's a cream concealer, cream blush. Um, it, it's a cream contour, cream blush palette. It is so pigmented. Like, if you're not careful, you're, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. That's to tell you how, how careful I want to be. I have to use a fluffy brush and then tap, 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 and then... Just see. Are you guys seeing? Are you guys seeing this? I've like I barely touched my face. So it's not something that you want to just go and be putting any how. <laughs> are you guys seeing my face? <laughs> I'm already looking clownish. But let me just apply it then. Use another brush to to um share it out. Sheer not sheer. Sheer it out. Yeah, I had that for enter that talk now. See, you guys, my purpose of this video was not even that though. I don't even know how I entered that talk. But I think I just remembered because I was talking about acne um, and my skin. So yeah, my dear, that person that said my skin is not skinning. My dear, you are right though. Because I think she was also saying that she too, she's going through the same thing. I've all my friends in this UK that are tech kind of new. I don't know about the old ones. So maybe their own skin has even, maybe they've gotten used to it. But most people are complaining about it. Um... Aside even your skin having spots and stuff, your skin will just get darker. I know that the skin on my face became darker. And I'm like, ah, what's happening now? Me that I'm trying to clear my my neck and head. My, it was just becoming worse. Are you guys seeing how pigmented that thing is? Like, I barely used... If you even look at the brush, you will still see most of the product on it. I barely used anything and it's just already all over my face. And one thing I like about this palette is the fact that even though it's a cream product you can use it on powder and it just stays and it looks good it's not it's not clashing with the powder nothing it just looks good anyway um i think i'm done with my foundation even though i didn't do it well but whatever but i like the way everything is sitting on my face because the foundation is not too cakey and i didn't even put so much and you know my face just looks good even though this concealer now the more i'm looking at it the more i'm like i'll be this blush the more i'm looking at it the more i'm like Organic. Am I a Chinese um, performer? Okay, so now I'm done with my eyebrows and I I I, I sincerely can I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired. I don't even know what I'll do on my eyes. I beg I'm not even going to do much. Let me just um color here and then I don't know, just do my eyeliner because since I want to do like a red lip, there's really no point doing too much on my eyes. That's my foundation powder. So I always use this Zaron Black Velvet to do my tight waterline. I have this NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. So it's a felt tip liquid liner. I love it. Okay. Can I help you? I was just hugging you. I'm just hugging me. Yeah. 
kissing. And kissing me. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your kisses and your huggies. Yeah. I'm tired of eyelashes, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> what is here? Yeah, you, you said you're tired of eyelashes. Mm hmm. Mommy, mm -hmm. do the other one. And that's pretty. And if it's gonna be like, what? What? Who's gonna be like that? Everybody. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be like what? Because of my of my eye. Uh -huh. you have pretty eyes. Yes, I have pretty eyes. A pretty dress. Yes. But do you know whose eyes is prettier? Um I think your eye. Hmm? Your eye. No, after me, whose or whose eyes prettier than my own? Um, I think mine. Yes, your eyes are so pretty. See now. Mm. Are you seeing your eyes? Uh -huh. You have almond shaped eyes, or is it cat eyes now? It could be cat eyes, but it's more like almond shaped eyes. You have very pretty eyes. When you smile, your eyes goes like this. Smile, let me see. Smile. I see your eyes. When you smile, your eye goes like this. Mama. Now let me see the mirror. <laughs> you like it? Uh -huh. You look pretty. Uh -huh. So the star of the show today is this Mac lipstick viva heart it's called viva heart it is a brownish blue red so it's almost like a brownish version of ruby woo right does that make sense yeah it's almost like a brownish version of ruby woo and you guys know that i am a ruby woo girl any day anytime if you ever see me with red lipstick that is entering your eyes just know that it's ruby woo right but i wanted another shade that is similar but a little more toned down so that i can wear it more often and that's what this shade is so let's try it together i rubbed um the balm on my lips let me move it a bit i've not even sprayed my face Seth. okay let me just spray my face i'm not a fan of how this thing sprays though this mark physics fix it stay over spray i'm not a fan of how it sprays it doesn't spray I don't know. It doesn't spray the way I, I would love it to spray. But we move. Okay. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love this color, you guys. It's just like Ruby Woo, but a toned down version of Ruby Woo. Let me swatch it and swatch Ruby Woo for you guys so that you guys will see. Can you guys see this? This is Ruby Woo and this is Viva Heart. It's so similar. Like, I can definitely tell that there's a little bit of difference. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, was it really what is buying the Viva Heart? I could have just darkened my Ruby Woo with something else. <laughs> I could have mixed my ruby wool. Go, don't go chop my money now. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's my makeup done. I feel like I look really good, even though my eyes look tired. And that's because I'm actually tired. I'm actually very hungry. <laughs> Let me drink water first. I'm going to do a live stream soon. Just start to do live stream to keep you guys company. So just watch out for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Something's wrong with me. I'm not, I'm not feeling, like, the more I'm talking, the more I feel down. I don't even think it's hunger. I don't know what it is. But his face is pretty. Ah! Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> come on! See, I looked like I something. I was supposed to be a model in my former life. Let me just tell you that. I was supposed to be a model. But fast did not allow me. <laughs> I was supposed to be a model. I'm telling you, face card that can never decline. I was supposed to be. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <sighs>